All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. Cool. Welcome back. This Welcome back. I did. Charted three. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. <laughs> They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. Talbot. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. It's all there. Let's see. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Authenticate. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Sully, this is fake. They're trying to fake them. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Whoa, whoa, you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. <laughs> now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. That's ironic. It's time to doubt. Come on. Oh, you got. This one's mine! Time to rest. and Eagles fans were after each other. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Uh -oh. 
there, big fella. I got him. Quick, hit him. Not bad idea, Gregor. Get him. Yeah. You spill more drink. Another round. This one's on me. Come on, now, let me like that, will ya? I think I can throw one of these dudes out the window. Oh, the bartender wants party or can I join in? Be my guest. Take him down. Who are you? Is that all you got? What do you think you'll do? Get him! Man, this got out of hand in a hurry. To the, the urinal. That sucks. That's nasty. Come on. I just, just give me a second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Okay, ready for more. Lay off the steroids, pal. He's looking at me. Uh, 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 uh. Treasure over here. Too. Get out the back. You look like shit. Scientists Ugh. are still struggling to end a like deadly it. fungus. That's right there in that newspaper. Supposed to be a reference to The Last of Us. First treasure. And this bar is actually in The Last of Us. Well, let I me. Mean, Stop him! I've got the old geezer! How's that? Ready to go, kid? Yeah. Let's go. Oops. Crap. <coughs> uh, Excuse me. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. He's had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Hmm. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I don't want you to melt. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. 
or not? No. <sighs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cutter! Oh no. Oh, shut, shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow. We have to get you out of here. Marlo, that was her name. I forgot her name. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? Excuse me. I know in the Uncharted movie they got Tom Holland cast to play young Drake. I'm excited for that. I think. And Brian Cranston's going to be in it, but I don't know what his character is yet. Pages, but okay. Okay. Maybe upstairs. Not here. Some random artifacts just laying on the ground. Why is it still telling me to open the page up? We'll see. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. No, that's not it either. There it is. Sick Parvis Magna greatness from small beginnings. I remember oh, I got the, uh, crap. this is on PS3, I got the Ultimate Edition. It came in a big ass box and a statue of Nathan Drake and a belt buckle and, uh, <laughs> that ring, that sick Parvis Magna ring. It was actually worth two. I think it was like two hundred dollars. I think it was, it was worth it. My statue alone was pretty good quality. Damn! What year did this game come out anyway? Let me see. It came out nine years ago. Holy crud. I don't know what that ah, means. Te agarré, ratita callejera. Suélteme. Jeez, nine years ago. God, time to fly. Ah. November. 2011. Still holds up well with this remastered version, though. Pentejo. 
Yeah, I know. God, I can't believe it's been that long ago. There he is. Dang. That's insane. I, th I was thinking maybe, I thought like 20, like 13 or I don't know. Jeez. There's a treasure right here. I gotta keep up with it. PlayStation 3, I got my platinum and all these, all the, uh, all the games. <laughs> Excuse me. But, uh, shoot. It was, this game's pretty difficult on the hardest difficulty. Ah, there he is. Little room for error, per se. Uncharted 4 came out. Well, it was a PS4. Dang, it came out. I don't remember, 2015. Oh. Don't mind if I do. <coughs> it was rotten anyway. It was rotten anyway. Nasty food. Anything over here? What's up, Inspired? Where did you go? What's going on, man? Nothing over here. Oh, you are? Uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool part. I like this beginning. This like uh, uh, the beginning of his journey. How they met. Where is he going? I think there might be treasure over there, I think. Maybe. Yep, there's one right there. I think there might be one over here as well. I think, I could be wrong. Oh, there's one. I'm not going to make a point to go after every single one of them. I'm just getting the ones I see. <clears throat> young Drake. I know Tom Holland's playing Young Drake in the movie. It's coming out uh, either this year or next year. Again, Brian, Brian Cranston's going to be in it, but I don't know what his character. <clears throat> now what's he doing? Yeah, there's going to be a movie. There's actually going to be a blockbuster, triple A title type of movie coming out next year. Yep, Uncharted is going to be called Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Looks like he's going upstairs. Sean Levy's directing it. He's searching around rocking that way. Okay, and we're good to go. <clears throat> that? And they did that. Nathan Fillion did that little uh, YouTube or whatever it was, that little video that he did. Uh, it was pretty good. They should definitely have him play Nathan Drake.
further. Hey, wait, whoa. What's he doing in there? There's treasure up there. I need to get a better look. I don't want to rush it now, but can you move it? Oh, no, that there? was just some paper. Sully? Yeah. I, I shoot, I think Brian Cranston will probably play Sully or if they bring that Roman character from the uh, first game. Robert De Niro. <laughs> I don't know, Robert De Niro. Adios, amigo. Okay, I gotta get that wallet. Crap. Yes, yeah, Sully. That way. Sully, goddamn Sullivan. There we go. There's a treasure right there. How about that? I like how four has the uh, <coughs> young Drake too, and him and his brother. I forgot who played. Uh, spot him from the roof. Was it Troy Baker who played his brother in the fourth one? So. There's a treasure up there too. Top of the sign here. Oh, who was your friend? There we got it. <laughs> yeah, because at first they were talking about Mark Wahlberg playing uh, Nathan Drake. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that would be a good choice. Not to say Mark Wahlberg's a bad actor. He's not, but no. Nah, they have to get Nathan Phil in. Because he tells me he looks just like Nathan anyway. It would be... It would be... Non logical not to have this feeling. Oh, so. damn it. Don't want to go down there. The Tom Holland playing him. Hey, look, that's Tom Holland right there. Spider Man. Spider Man. This isn't Uncharted. This is uh, Spider Man Comes Home. Or Spider Man. Yeah, Spider -Man. The last Spider Man movie. Chicken dipped. Yeah, Mark oh Wahlberg, man. Nah, I don't know. No, no, no. Mark Wahlberg's a good actor, but not to play that character. Anything over here? Nope. Anything over here? Okay. Pleasure to find this drug. What about over here? Nothing? Yeah. Okay. It's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Sully must have like Crap. went on the old sprint. sprint. Me, Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. 
But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. <laughs> Kid. The wallet. I had to try. Of course you did. Back to the museum. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? I have to say, they did a really good job with the remaster. Blue Point did a really good job. Yeah, it holds up pretty good. Treasure over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. Way over there. Okay. Hey, there's a treasure over here, too. How about it? Look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. <laughs> what ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little be beggar. You're not right fit to speaking. touch these objects. Freaking face. Pull off her wig. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. <laughs> Stop him! Who are you? Agent Smith. Looking dudes, they all look the same. Stop the boy! Huh. Oh God. He's heading for the roof! Catch 
Hey, ah. you didn't catch me. What We've got it. Excuse oh. me. Coming through. Hey, guess I Come on. Sorry away. about that. Cool cat <laughs> Whoops. with his sunglasses and red tie. You all right? What are you shaking for? Just Mr. close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Food look kind of good, actually. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? You gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This should be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. 
I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with, not with his wife back in England, anyway. Not his wife. <laughs> okay, good point. Francis Drake okay. apparently was a player. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis? Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. Circumnavigating? That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age no Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, uh, well... Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. Oh. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plundered treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. Hmm. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> what do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? <laughs> okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. I've been friends for years. <laughs> no. And... There you go. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. I thought you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> here you are. All, right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. <laughs> I do? Let's get moving. Well, hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. Run this way. Down. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie, what's the holdup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Who's right. claustrophobic? 
<laughs> It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm fine. That's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. Oh, there's a thought. Wall's too high. Yeah. Let's move this thing over there. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Oops. Come on, move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, <sighs> easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door Scary Poppins had in behind? Behind that scary one there. Poppins. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. <clears throat> no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in, and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up Walking that down the street like we're in Tombstone. Walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, mate. <laughs> hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're on to. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Seems pretty quiet. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. No, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. I don't think there's anything over here, but I need to check anyway. Just to be sure. I hate when it goes slow. Nope, I don't think there's anything. Get up there. Where did it go? Huh? <laughs> 
one up there. Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Actually, one over here. Oops, hold up. There we go. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm sure this is the right one. Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. That damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. We were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Hey, check this out. Yeah, this must be the small one. What are we missing? Kind of Four mechanism. points of contact. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Four tires. Four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, like there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And. Well, this has got to be it. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Well, Abra, goddamn Cadabra. Um, Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little bit. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. It looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Balls. It's a dead end. Well, then we'll just have to find a way What's around. I think the uh, relic things here. Should be able to squeeze through here. I think it's lead on, Macduff. What? Lay on. It's lay on, Macduff. <sighs> Can we hurry along, please, mate? All right, back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, just not keen on the old tight spaces. That's all. Uh, just keep moving. Cutter's claustrophobic as that gets done. Who the hell is Macduff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? Treasure. What was that? I see them! Oh, shoot. Yep. Okay, nice one, mate. Thanks. There'll be more coming down.
Get outside. No, no, keep the silencer, kid. Wait, there's a treasure here. Buddy. Okay. Tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Long way down. Ooh. If I'm not mistaken, the uh, strange relic is here. I think it's actually in this area somewhere. Yeah. Careful, it's slippery. Passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks like it's jammed though. Let me see if I can loosen it. Look out, here it comes. Oh mate. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. Maybe not. Sully to get up there, and we can... All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Oh. Okay, Charlie, come on. Come on out, buddy. Craziest sewer system I've ever seen. There's the tunnel again. It's too far to drop, though. We'll break our damn necks. Is there anything down, down here? here? Where the hell are we headed now? What in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? They are seriously weird. London Underground. Look at the ironwork. Why, it's got to be Victorian, maybe older. Yeah. All this stuff's been rusting for a century. Maybe we can get through here. I'm gonna lift that. Look, that's true. Oh, no way we're moving that. I don't think so. Uh. Hey, wait. There's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. I 
One of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> Crap. Should always vote me to do this. Jeez, please. Was there? That ought to work. <coughs> Cut it. Yep. yep. Take your time. He ran out. Sucker so came down on him. for having our back. Hey, there's Marla's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. What dang. Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this <laughs> King's Cross? Don't move. Hey, hey, hey. You got us all wrong, man. We're from Cleveland. Got your son. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. That a boy. What kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. All right, Rach. It's just when you think Appreciate things can't in. get any weirder. Glad to see you again. Hopefully you get some good rest in. Done. Come on. They must have gone through here. It gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. What? This place is really starting to give me the creeps. This way. Quietly, Nate. Hey, over here. 
There we go. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. This is quite the operation they got going here. Look at all this stuff. Ugh. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. It belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right.
Here we go. L. O. H. D. N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's... Long Hidden. What? Shush! No shit, Long Hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Would you shut up? It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's gotta be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting? What makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. Well, it could be a Buckland Abbey for all we know. Ah. Trap. They're here. Take cover. <laughs> Huh! <laughs> 
Here we go. Okay. Where the hell are we? It's the North Atwood Station. Come on! Can you read me? I'm coming out the old North Outward Station. There's no time to explain. Goodness gracious, that was funny. That was noise.
see if they can put the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. ...he was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Saints. Oh, Sam, uh, Trey Baker now, the legend Sam crops Drake. up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second. Because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just, it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Into the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? 
Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? Always get you out. Come on, through here. There it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. Pan flute? This way. Watch your step. Whew. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. It looks more like Renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. Oh, this looks sketchy. Ooh. Ah, what are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the problem. Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. It's pretty tacky. <laughs> The knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. Now, according to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're gonna find him. No good? Not getting in this way. I bet I can climb up through that hole. I bet you can. Let me guess. You're gonna sit tight, smoke a cigar again. Yeah. All right, don't burn the place down. That window above you. I don't want to cut myself. Nice going, kid. 
Be right back. I'll be waiting. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. You good? Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? I can try. Wait, this'll work. Careful up there. Old damn thing's rotten. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah. Must be how they lowered them down to clean them. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. idea. Here we go. All right, got it. There, I'm in. It is in what? Is that a popcorn machine? Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Hey, Nate. Square Tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. Uh, 
Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Come on. We got it. Watch it! Whoa. Thanks. Hey, Nate. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's got to mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kind of on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Something weird about these suits of armor. Come here, check it out. Bases rotate. Interesting. Anything in Lawrence's notebook about this? Let me check. Yeah. Here, see? Four knights with an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. Maybe we got to turn each night so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? Must be some kind of trick to it. A pattern. A secret passage. All right. Gotta hand it to you, Sully. It seems to be stuck. So let's unstick it. Okay. I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait. One, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. Eight? Hey, you all right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll live. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. You be careful down there. Right. Hope there is another side. that noise. We should be able to get through here. Should be able to climb up through there. Piece of cake. Oh, oh crap. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. Sully. What was that? Lost him. You're Jesus, they put a small arm. Ha! <laughs> 
Thanks for the gift, boys. See that coming. to follow them. Power's right there. We gotta get inside. All right. Up this way. Come on, Sully. Give me some help with this door. Really sure. Why don't we try going down? <clears throat> hey, look at this. What the hell? It's one of Talbot's men. It was. But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? No idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. Hey, look at the tiles. Sabean script. I'll stand over here so I don't step on any by accident. Good idea.
Did Lawrence make any notes about this? Let me check. Maybe you gotta walk across them in a certain order. Pitch dark in here. Want to give us some light? Sure. Oh, looks like some sort of laboratory, doesn't it? Hey, a little more light, Sully. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Hey, look at this. Huh. Sabian script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a knocking script. Think you can decipher it? I'll try. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. Oh. Right. Help me push. <laughs> well, would you look at that. Crafty old bastard. Why, thank you. Oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. Yeah. Ah, much better. You know, one of these days you're really going to have to start carrying your own matches. What are you talking about? something out. We're in. Here, give me a hand with this. Yeah. I got it. There you go. Looks 
looks like the family crypt. Your pal Godfrey must be down here then, huh? With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands, he took it with him to the grave. So let's find the grave. Exactly. Let's see. It looks like he was trying to solve this, but he never quite finished. What is this? Medieval game show? <laughs> Pretty elaborate. Yeah. Anything? He doesn't seem to be in any of these crypts. No. Now they would have hidden his tomb. Keep looking around. This is it. Here, hold this, will you? Sure. Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. <laughs> Gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh huh. It's in Sabean script. That'd well, be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah. Exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. 
Paris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. What is that? Oh my God. What the hell? Stay in the light. Get it. Quickly. Get him off me. Get him off me. God. Your torch seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. The torch is going out. We gotta find a way out of here. Wait, up there. Sure. Are you good? You okay? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's not go back in there. I think that's a good idea. <clears throat> okay. We gotta find a way out of here. See if I can find a way across. Watch yourself. I got it. Uh, oh no. Got me. Things gonna go. I know. I know. Find a way down. Oh, hold on. Shh, shh, shh. <clears throat> Empty those cans. Every last drop. What the hell are they doing? Burn the whole place down. Oh no. It's only we gotta get out of here. Watch the crap. Oh, crap, that's not good. Take them 
Close, huh? 
You all right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Just swell. Here, just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Oh, come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. <sighs> anyway, what's the hurry? They think we're in that. We almost were. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this. No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had you back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere. Obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. Sully, if we were oh, followed... shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. I hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around. Damn it. Still can't reach either one of them. Something is definitely not right. How long till this place opens? We got a few more hours before the tour buses start showing up. Then we better hustle. Chain's been cut. Okay, so we know we're not the first ones here. Yeah, as long as Marlowe and Talbot think we're dead, we got the element of surprise. It's not wasted. Right. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage taken type. Let's just go with best case scenario for now, okay? We rescue Cutter and Chloe, and the four of us just sneak back out. <laughs> right. Sneak back out. It could happen. Mm-hmm. 